All right, apparently some people didn't believe that it was real or something. So I actually moved the Alexa in here so you can hear it. Oh, I just had a keyword. It lit up. And then got the camera higher up this time. You can see I don't have power over here, so I've been powering it off of this USB bank here. Thing is like, forget what it is, 20 some thousand milliamps. It's got a pretty good capacity. Um, and it just powers a Node MCU board. And then that, if I pull the lid off here, you'll see the wire go in. And then there's a servo right there. You see that blue thing? It's just zip tied to this bracket. And there is a wire from the servo horn that's tied around the little plunger handle there. Um, and it just pulls up on that, and that's how it is. Like a 3d print a case and make it pretty i mean this could and then i could even put this on the inside really um then i would just have to have the power cord coming out though i'd have to figure out power but there's just no outlet over here um so i don't know what i could do permanently but all right let's give it a shot here alexa flush that shit okay and now you should have hopefully heard her say okay You hear the servo go back and you can see the handle move. And then it's just like normal, it's just filling back up with water. <laughs> so it's definitely real. And I bet some of you probably want the code to do this super, super cool thing. It's like the coolest thing ever to have your toilet flush automatically without touching the handle. <laughs> but, but anyways, here's the Arduino code here. Um, this was originally I found for uh, window blinds, I believe, to <clears throat> open and close your blinds. Um, but I just kind of changed a little bit just to use for the, the toilet flushing. Um, but you'll see the code here. Um, all you have to do is put in your Wi-Fi, your SSID, your password, and then this is also assuming you have an MQTT server up and running with your Home Assistant installation. Um, and you would just fill in that information as well on the server username and password if you have one. Some may not have a username and password, it's just whatever your situation is. Um, and then you can go down to the actual MQTT topics here. Um, here I have toilet slash payload and toilet slash state and toilet slash level. Um, one thing that took me a long time to figure out is just doing the simple on and off. 90 is to pretty much tell the servo to turn 90 degrees and zero is pretty much what puts it back to zero um the problem is once i did this i spent a lot of time on it and i would turn it on absolutely nothing would happen turn it off absolutely nothing would happen um eventually i ended up figuring it out all of a sudden it started moving um what got me to get it going was this level part and the way this works is in home assistant it is set up as a light and this section right here for the level is like the brightness of the light um, so this allows you to like click on like the light bulb in home assistant and then you do the brightness slider up and down and i just randomly just took the slider and moved it like three quarters of the way up and all of a sudden the servo worked and then i did the same thing on the way back down but not all the way down maybe at like 20% or something and it moved back um, so what I figured out is some servos will not actually respond to a full 90 and 0 command they may be off um, they may be their limits might be like 5 and 85 or something for example 
Um, so that's what the problem was. I guess that's going to vary from servo to servo to servo. Um, so there is no set number. Um, but in my case, I'm actually using, I think it's 95 and 12, I think, for off and 95 for on. Um, so I'm not really even using this part the way I have mine set up. You'll see mine is based off of the brightness level. Um, and then another thing too to keep in mind is if you're going to do more than one of these, uh, down at the bottom here, you'll see Client Connect and it says Toilet Flusher. You need to make this name unique to each device. So Toilet Flusher 1, 2, 3, or whatever. Because if you make them the same, they're just going to keep overwriting each other in the MQTT topics. And it'll just keep going and going and going and they'll be like fighting with each other. And it'll never end. <laughs> so you'll have problems there and it won't work. Um, but that's the Arduino programming. This in particular, I have it on a Node MCU 1.0 board, um, but really it, it shouldn't matter, like a D1 Mini or any ESP8266, this sh should work for. And you'll see here it says D4, D4, and D4. This is just the pin that you have the signal wire from the servo hooked up to. Um, in my case, it's an orange wire. Um, usually you'll have like a black and a red for your your negative and positive and then you'll have an orange um, which is the signal wire and that's going into the D4 pin on the board. Um, if you're using a different pin be sure to change this to D5, D6, whatever it may be otherwise it ain't gonna work. Um, I even named it Alexa flush that shit <laughs> um, and the configuration file here um, you'll see here it is configured as a light. It's platform MQTT. Um, the name is just toilet flush here. It can be whatever. The state and command topics, toilet state, toilet payload. And then here's that brightness that I was talking about, which is toilet state and level. Um, and those are just referenced in the Adreno file. Uh, brightness scale is all the way to 100. And that's how the light is set up. That just goes in your configuration.yaml file. I see I have to edit this because it cut it off. Um, then I use a script. I did it here too. I don't know why that happened. I swear I typed YAML. Hmm. But anyways, in your scripts.yaml file, this number is kind of unique to your installation uh, because Home Assistant has the built-in um, script editor, but I don't use it all that much sometimes. This one I did. Um, and it just kind of creates a random number. Um, so if you just copied and pasted this, most likely this isn't going to be the same as something you already have. Um, but if it is, I imagine you're going to have problems. So you can make that number whatever. Um, but it's named Flush That Shit. That's why when I say Alexa, Flush That Shit, this is a script that Alexa will run. Um, I, use, I have Alexa set up as an emulated hue component in case you're wondering. Um, and this, yep, here it is. One, it turns runs the script it sets the brightness to 95 which pretty much turns the servo all the way which pulls up on that plunger and see it's using a light turn on command and light dot toilet flusher that's what it's named um, it's just turning it on I have an eight second delay um, this is probably going to vary from toilet to toilet I just have it set to eight seconds and that's pretty much when the water is completely emptied and it's flushed all the way then the servo horn turns back down and it just drops the plunger. Um, if I didn't do that, if I, I tried on like one second, two second, it was, it wasn't working. Um, it was just kind of like a partial flush. It just didn't hold it long enough. Um, so you'll just have to play around with it to get the exact timing that your toilet may need. Um, and then when it's in the off position, once that eight seconds has passed, it sets the brightness to 10, which pretty much brings my servo all the way down to nothing. Um, again, because if it's zero, it doesn't move. It does not respond to a zero command. And then it's just, again, light.toilet underscore flusher and the light turn on command. So the light is always on. It just turns brightness up and down to make it trigger on and off. That's pretty much how that works. Uh, and then you can have your, your very own Alexa controlled uh, toilet flusher. Otherwise, when you're in Home Assistant 2, you'll see it shows up as a light and it's on. 
Um, I can't remember if I hid the script or not. Nope, I didn't flush that shit. So if you were to just hit that, it's just going to flush the toilet that way too. So you don't have to use Alexa. Um, but I just thought the flush that shit kind of made it all much, all that much better. <laughs> Thanks for watching.